Good morning. For the sake of this meeting, I'm going to deem it to be 1130. One of the powers of a chair of a meeting, you get to do that sort of thing. I see that the auditors are here to get reelected, so or reappointed, so I guess we can get started. Uh, my name is Mike Kornberg. I'm a director and the chairman of Camphor Pulp. Really pleased that everybody would make the time to come out to see us this morning. Uh, we've got some good stuff to hear from uh, Brett and some regular business from me, so I think we're going to be relatively tight. Um, the annual general meeting is a chance for the company to offer a report to the shareholders. Uh, a couple of business purposes for the meeting today received the report on the company for the last year, uh, elect the directors for the ensuing year, and appoint the auditors. So we'll deal with those uh, pieces of business, and uh, at this point I should introduce the people that are up on stage uh, here uh, in the middle. Uh, Brett Robinson is the president of Gamfor Paul. Brett, great to have you here. And to his left is David Calabrigo, the corporate secretary uh, of Camphor Pulp. And with your indulgence, uh, it's my plan to ask that any questions be deferred until the end of the meeting. Uh, David has been asked to uh, serve as the secretary of the meeting. I'd like you to uh, be introduced to the other directors uh, who are here today. Uh, first, Peter Bentley, Stan Bracken Horrocks, Charles Jago, John Baird, Conrad Panette, and William Stinson. I'm also very pleased to introduce uh, Barbie Hislop. Uh, Barbara has agreed to stand for election as a director today. Uh, she's no stranger to Canfor, having worked with the company back when it was integrated uh, from 1977 to 2004, and then with an IT group called Genus for a couple years after that. And certainly uh, Barbie is, uh, is a significant shareholder, uh, including Canfor Pulp, and we're delighted to have you join us uh, today. I also wanted to say a few words about Charles Jago. Charles uh, has not uh, put his name forward for re-election of the board. Uh, he's uh, uh, been feted internally last night by the management team and by the board. But Charles has made a huge contribution to Canfor Pulp and to Canfor more broadly. Uh, having served as the inaugural chairman after the business was spun out as an income trust back in the mid-2000s until 2013, uh, he has always put the best interests of Canfor Pulp ahead of anything else. He champions the company and the community in Prince George, and we have every confidence that notwithstanding the fact that he's stepping down from the board, he's just going to be interested in, in what's going on at Canfor Pulp, and he's going to be a great ambassador in the Prince George community. So uh, on behalf of all of us, thank you. Uh, it's also appropriate at this time for me to introduce the other uh, officers of Canfor Pulp, starting with the Chief Executive Officer, uh, Don Kane. Uh, the Chief Financial Officer, Alan Nickel, the Vice President of Operations, Martin Pudlis, and the Vice President of Pulp and Paper Sales and Marketing, uh, Peter Hart. So thank you each for being here, and I know that we are uh, going to have some of you moving and seconding some motions. With the consent of the meeting, I appoint CST Trust Company to act as the scrutineer for the meeting, and I call on David Calabrigo to deal with the notice of the meeting. Mr. Chairman, a notice calling the meeting was mailed to all shareholders of Canfor Pulp entitled to receive such notice. CST Trust Company has provided us the certificate as to the mailing and a copy of the certificate will be kept with the records of the meeting. Thanks, David. Would you mind summarizing the preliminary scrutineers report? Pleased to report that there are 49 shareholders holding 57,813,292 shares, represented in person or by proxy, at this meeting representing 86.7% of the total issued capital of the company. Thank you. As the chairman of the meeting, I adopt the scrutineers report and declare attendance at the meeting to be as they've been set forth. I direct that when delivered, the final scrutineers report be kept with the records of this meeting. In accordance with that report, I declare a quorum to be present and the meeting to be duly constituted for the transaction of its business. I'd ask those who've kindly agreed to move or second motions to give their names and state that they are, in fact, shareholders. As you know, there are certain necessary motions that have to be made and seconded. In order to expedite the meeting, some of the shareholders have graciously agreed to attend and to provide those motions or, or act as seconders. This isn't intended in any way to inhibit any conversation that might otherwise occur. The minutes, uh, the first item of business is the minutes of the last meeting. Those minutes have been available for perusal by any shareholder unless someone wants them to be read. I'll entertain a motion that we dismiss with the reading of the minutes. My name is Martin Pellis. I'm a shareholder of the minutes of the annual general meeting of shareholders held on April 27, 2016, taken as read and be approved. Thanks, Martin. Is there a seconder? You've heard the motion. Please signify all those in favor by raising your hand. Anybody opposed? Those minutes are taken as having been read. 
Uh, the next is the presentation of the consolidated financial statements and the report of the auditors and the report of the directors. Um, we've placed those statements before uh, the board. There's copies of them available. They were sent out to shareholders. I never got my copy, but I assume some shareholders must have received theirs. Um, the statements and reports are contained in an annual report. And unless there's any questions, I'll regard the statements and reports as having been received at the meeting. The election of directors is the next item of business. Uh, uh, nominated four directors for Canfor Pulp are the following people. Peter Bentley, Stan bracken Horks, Barbara Hislop, uh, Michael Kornberg, Conrad Panette, William Stinson, and John Baird. All the nominees have consented to be named in the information circuiter and to serve as directors if they're elected. The meeting is now open for nominations. If I could have a nomination, that'd be great. My name is Peter Hart, and I am a shareholder. I move that the directors nominated be approved. Thank you, uh, Mr. Hart. May I have a seconder? My name is Mark Cutlass, and I'm a shareholder. I second the motion. Thank you. Are there any further nominations? You've heard the motion. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by raising your hand. Contrary, if any. Thank you. There being uh, no further nominations, I declare the nominations to be closed. As the only the required number of persons have been nominated, I declare that those persons nominated have been duly elected by acclamation as the directors of Camphor Pulp to hold office until the next annual general meeting. Remember, it was about a year ago, John Baird thought that was a great way to get elected as, as, as anybody. Still does. <laughs> Uh, the appointment of auditors. Uh, the next item of business is the appointment of the auditors, and it's the board's recommendation that KPMG LLP, Chartered Accountants, be appointed as the auditors of Camphor Pulp. If I could have a motion to that effect, that would be great. Mr. Chairman, my name is Stan Bracken Horrocks. I'm a shareholder of the company, and I move as an ordinary resolution that KPMG LLP be appointed as auditors of the company to hold office until the next annual Thank you, uh, Stan. I appreciate the, not only your, your motion, but the fact that you're also the chair of the audit committee uh, for Canfor Pulp. Is there a seconder? My name is Peter Hart, and I'm the shareholder. I second the Thanks, Pete. Uh, you've heard the motion. All those in favor, please signify by raising your hand. <coughs> Anybody contrary? Uh, the motion's carried unanimously. I hereby declare KPMG LLP chartered accountants to be appointed as the auditors. Without further ado, I'm very pleased to, at this point, invite uh, Brett Robinson to come up and make some comments about our year just completed and where we're going. Welcome to the Camphor Pulp Products Annual General Meeting. On behalf of my management team, I want to thank you for being with us and for your continued support and confidence. Overall, 2016 was another productive year, delivering excellent progress on our areas of focus with strong results from our operations, we had improved reliability across our facilities, broke records in our energy business, and continued to advance our efforts in innovative biofuels. Our global efforts to leverage long-term customer loyalty through value creation and technical support are being recognized, and Fiber United has kicked off its fourth year of operation by expanding its reach into South Korea. Due to the financials, despite the global softwood pulp markets being better than anticipated, there was moderate downward pressure on average NBSK pulp prices throughout most of 2016, which impacted the operating results for the pulp segment. These pressures were partially offset by the weaker Canadian dollar, increasing power generation and lower fiber costs. In 2016, Canfor Pulp achieved an operating income of $98 million, down from $143 million in 2015. This morning, we released our Q1 2017 results, reporting an operating income of $35 million as compared to 22.9 for Q4 2016 and $39 million for Q1 2016. We are also pleased to announce our board's approval in continuing, in continuing our quarterly dividend of six and a quarter cents. Safety is a top priority, and while 2016 results were good, we're still striving to get better. Our facilities are absolutely focused on making sure everybody who works at, our, at our, our sites goes home safely. And as we proceed through the largest workforce renewal of our history, it's more important than ever to set high expectations, encourage strong mentorship while delivering comprehensive safety and training programs. On markets, global softwood markets and prices held up better than expected, as I said, in 2016 and for the start of 2017. This was largely a result of commissioning and ramp-up delays in new capacity that was forecast over this period of time, as well as strong demand from China, which grew at 12% last year, surpassing the 8 million ton mark that was forecast some two more years out. 
Our paper segment delivered another solid performance in 2016 with results similar to 2015. Increased bleach paper sales in conjunction with lower slush pulp prices offset uh, decreases in paper unit sales realizations. Fiber United enjoyed its uh, fourth or, or enters its fourth full, full year of operation with strong supports from customers worldwide. This co-op sales service and marketing agreement with UPM Pulp has grown our product offerings while strengthening our technical support, selling proposition across the premium reinforcing pulp market, and we are very pleased with our customers' acceptance of this unique value-enhancing approach. In 2015, we opened an office in Korea combined between Canfor and Canfor Pulp, and uh, we got an, a great vote of confidence from UPM with the the uh, with them moving their products into Seoul at the beginning of this year. To our operations, in 2016, we invested $64 million in upgrades to our mills, and in 2017, we expect to invest $75 million. Operational excellence is a key focus for our teams, with 2016 deliver delivering improved reliability, records in electricity generation through optimization of our green energy business, while investments were targeted towards historical bottlenecks and reducing conversion costs. Our intercontinental mill set a quarterly production record in the first quarter of 2016, while our Taylor Beast TMP mill set an annual production record for the year. Despite weather-related challenges in the last quarter of 2016, all facilities delivered a reliable performance throughout 2016. Energy in 2016 achieved a new productivity record of 117,000 megawatt hours of clean renewable energy with the continued optimization of our new turbines over the last few years. <coughs> we take pride in the fact that Canfor Pulp is one of the largest single producers of renewable bioenergy in North America and will continue to increase our generation as we look forward. Our renewable energy business has steadily grown over the last several years and continues to deliver attractive financial returns while moving closer to our goal of self-sufficiency. The Taylor BCTMP mill, which was purchased in early 2015, has been the focus of a great deal of effort since the time we took it on. BCTMP markets remained under significant pressure through the first half of last year, but saw prices recover in the second half of 2016 and into 2017 and focused efforts on targeting customers where Softwood Beast TMP creates the greatest value have delivered encouraging results and also led to future opportunities. Our team is very encouraged by the progress we've made and the opportunities that are still available. I would highlight our recent productivity records to demonstrate the potential in front of us as we continue to prioritize plans to reduce costs, increase margins, and build an integrated strategy that will return this mill to sustained profitability over the market cycle. Execution of our current plans would see a step change in Taylor's cost structure by the end of 2018, which combined with the current productivity trends and emerging market opportunities will deliver a much improved business strategy going forward. During the year, we advanced our innovation efforts by forming Lysella Pulp Joint Venture with an Australian energy technology company targeting a proprietary approach to integrating their catalytic hydrothermal reactor platform into our pulp mills. This platform is a strong technical fit for our process and represents an opportunity to directly produce advanced bioproducts from our existing streams. This quarter, Lysella enjoyed a significant vote of confidence with the federal government awarding Canfor Pulp $13.2 million through the SDTC funding initiative. This innovative technology gain, continues to gain momentum but it's still leading edge, so development supports uh, help us with reducing our risk. Biofuels and biochemicals represent the next frontier of our bioevolution focused on the complete utilization of sustainable wood fiber and underscores our commitment to grow our future sustainable products. We look forward to working with our new partners as we develop this potentially transformational technology. Canfor and Canfor Pulp recently released our sustainability report I encourage you to review the wide variety of activities across our companies that deliver on our commitment to sustainability while always reinforcing the renewable basis of our business with customers, stakeholders, and shareholders. As we focus on the year ahead, we are entering discussions in May with our union workforce at the Prince George Mills and are pleased the uniform, P sorry, the uniform and PPWC represents 
uh, representatives will be working together on a labor agreement versus doing it separately as we have done in the past. We will need to maintain our focus on workforce renewal as many of our long-term employees reach retirement age. The forest products industry has so much to offer, but we need to tell our story and make sure people realize the immense career potential in the modern forest sector. We are renewable, sustainable, high-tech, and we have a bright future. As we look forward to the rest of the year and into 2018, Canfor Pulp will continue to pursue opportunities to maintain our position as an industry leader with strong financial performance while growing high margin segments, lowering operating costs in our core pulp and paper business. While our investments for the future focus on bioevolution, we will continue to optimize our green energy business while also being ready to capitalize on attractive growth and innovation opportunities that emerge. We have some of the strongest and highest quality fiber that exists with customers in markets around the world demanding our products based on the superior quality and value proposition that it offers. We also have some of the most innovative and skilled employees in the business. Thanks for their many contributions that deliver so many quality and production milestones year after year while continuing to push the innovation boundaries for our mature pulp and paper business. And finally, I would like to thank our board for their continuing guidance, passion, and support as we execute on our long-term plans to improve this great business. And of course, I'd like to give a special thank you to Charles Jago for his contributions. Thank you, and I will now hand it back to our board chair, Michael. Excellent. Well, uh, very good remarks, and I noticed as you were giving them that uh, Terry Hodgins, who at one point was the CFO of this organization, stepped in, and we're delighted to see you here, Terry, as we always are, so welcome. This would be an appropriate point in the meeting for anybody who's got any questions to be able to ask them. Um, Terry, I assume that's why you're here, so uh, have at it. <laughs> if, are there any questions? In the absence of any questions, I'll invite a motion to terminate the meeting. May I have a seconder? Are you nodding your head, Stan? Are you going to second that motion? Good for you. Uh, all in favor, please signify by voting, uh, raising your hands. Anybody opposed? I declare the meeting to be terminated. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you.